Hey guys, what's going on? To another video today, we're going to doing uh, we're going to be doing um, an in-game stats review for Arturo Vidal's card. So it's really good that they did this card because Arturo Vidal's regular cards are complete garbage, only because the pace is just too low, right? Everything else about the card is really really nice, you know, in terms of having like a a, a full out good midfielder, but that pace being 58 it was definitely a huge problem, right? So with this card, a lot of significant improvements. Uh, in all honesty with you guys, there is, in terms of the player's characteristics, so on and so forth, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this card in terms of the positioning and stuff that you would play him in. It's a really, really nice card. We're going to be making some squads with him as well to kind of fit him in some uh, some meta teams. I would make fun teams, but meta teams is kind of the way you got to go uh, right now because of the way that the game modes are. Um, defensive stats are very, very good, right? Nothing really to say about that. He's got interceptions. He is 5'11". 5.11 medium medium work rates is very very nice to have uh, for a CDM for I actually thought he was still high high because I know I think in previous years he was actually high high but medium medium work rates uh, is really nice for that card if you play him as a CDM really good work rates to have as a CDM uh, although medium high would be the best one uh, but medium medium with as a center mid would also be good and you could use him as a cam but if you use him as a cam you're doing it more to try out the card now the reason why this is a really cool card to release is because EA has the Sergio Busquets card, right? And the Sergio Busquets card is phenomenal, right? So if you use him, this is a CDM card. His Champions League has 52 pace still, right? So I don't even know why these cards exist. But his Halloween card, I love, I love when they do this to the cards. Like, I wish this was just a permanent stats because the stats that this card has is phenomenal. Like, it's such a good card. And the, the thing that you notice the most about Sergio Busquets' card is that it's his passing. Like, his passing is just really, really nice, right? Um, but, yeah, this Sergio Busquets card, you can link that with him. He's a Spanish player from Barcelona. He'll get that double link with Vidal, and then Vidal can get linked with Dembele, so on and so forth, right? So, uh, with Arturo Vidal's card, right... In terms of transitioning left and right with him, he's going to be very, very good because his acceleration is better than his sprint speed. Very, very big thing there. Um, although if you use the card, if you're using him as a CDM, I would recommend using a shadow card on him. Actually, I wouldn't even give him a shadow. I'd actually give him anchor because anchor would give him like quite significant boost. Give him the jumping boost while being five foot eleven because jumping is such a huge thing. Jumping and physical presence is a huge thing in FIFA. So um, I'd probably give him an anchor card if I'm going to be using him in the midfield because his shooting is already very good for being someone that's going to be playing in the midfield. Although, obviously, you want to increase the finishing as much as possible. You could decide maybe you want to use you want to use him for shooting, right? So you may want to increase that. But as a midfielder, I'd focus more on defensive stats, physical stats, and pace um, if he's going to be playing in the midfield. Because that's the most important thing about that position, right? Um, drilling with him is not going to be, like, super, super responsive, but it's going to be good for a midfielder, right? His agility is 80. His balance is 81. Decent dribbling stats in general. Reactions are very good. So he's not going to be, like, a quick dribbler, right? But he's he's going to dribble decent enough, right? Like an, an acceptable rate. Like there's players that just dribble, they, they take way too long to dribble the ball, right? But he won't. He will be very good at that. Um, Four-star weak foot is ob obviously very, very beneficial. He's got great passing stats. Uh, free, kick, free kick stuff, this is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. Uh, but good physical, good defending, good pace. It's a phenomenal card, right? Um, if I were to put him in the team, right? Uh, for me personally, I would use him as a center mid or a CDM. Um, I would love to try him out as a CDM by himself. So if I were to make a squad myself, uh, squad builder, if I were to make a squad myself, Vidal would be somewhere around here, right? I'd put like Usman Dembele over here because he is a left wing card. He does have poor composure. So if you actually look at the player stats right here, if you look at the player stats, uh, you can see that his finishing is 86, but his composure is 76. So if you do get the card, his pace is already very good. So if you do end up using him, I don't know how to... Okay, that's how you do it. Uh, if you do end up using this card, be sure to put Sniper on him. Uh, because you need to increase that composure as much as possible. Because composure is a very, very big thing. Uh, but this card is really, really fun to use. Very, very rapid on the ball. He's got the 5-star weak foot, 4-star skills. Uh, very, very helpful, right? Um... I actually thought he had five star skills, but it's okay. Um, shot power is good. Long shots, I uh, don't really care about long shots. I always try to like break down the person's defense more than anything. Um, so it's a phenomenal card. You can you can put him uh, in a team. So right off the bat, you already got that link, right? You got that center mid link with that left wing link. Um, 
You could uh, switch it to the other side as well, right? Obviously, with the fullback on this side, you could put Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba has a pretty decent card, right? So now you got all the green links that you possibly need. Dembele no longer needs a link. Vidal no longer needs a link. Jordi Alba no longer needs a link. But if you want to keep it going, right? You got Sergio Busquets in the team, right? The pace upgrade is what makes this card. I'm telling you, because he's 96 pace, this card is phenomenal to use. Dribbling at 95 is very helpful as well because it allows you to open up the space better. Because your CDMs, people people focus too much on being too defensive. Like, a Patrick, well, Patrick Vieira would be a god-tier player. But with Busquets, he can open up the pitch for you, right? Because your CDMs are the most important players on the pitch. So the fact that they can dribble, uh, run, so on and so forth, really, really important, right? So there you go. Boom, you got another green link right there. And then you can just, like, go from there, right? You don't have to necessarily... Because usually the formation, right, that's best to go with in general when you're making these squads is usually, like, a 4-5-1, like this formation. Put him over here. Sergio Busquets could be over here. Jordi Alba gets that link right away with, with Usman Dembele. But this is if you're going with a Liga Santander team, if you want to. Really, really up to you. Um, but yeah, that you know, you got some meta players in there, right? You, if you're going to be using a 4-2-3-1, you could be using Sergio Busquets and Vidal as your CDMs, right? Uh, your other players, uh, I'm not like too crazy. I'm not too crazy about... Uh, not too crazy about players from the... Let me see the league here. Because Liga Santander is, is a weird league. It's either they have players or they don't, right? Like, I'm talking about, like, meta players, right? Uh, Liga Santander. Okay, so you got Griezmann. You got Marcelo. You got Promis. Okay, so they have a they have a very good amount, actually. Uh, Porto. Yeah, no, not Porto. Uh, I would probably use Promis, actually. No, he's high-low work rates. This Griezmann would look really nice, but it's obviously very expensive. He's 1 million coins. Um, Promise is 11k. That's actually quite decent. What is his uh, card stats? I'm curious now. This is actually a good card. He has five star skills, four star skill moves. He's a oh, I thought I was about to say 11k. Like 11k is a steal for this card. 185k is still pretty decent though. If you're going to be using a Liga Santander team, so uh, I can put him in there. Let's see if they have any good. Let's see if they have any good cams. I, I feel like they won't. I think it'd be, it would be one of those things we have to probably use as, as a striker or something. You know what? You know what? With Coutinho's card, yes, he's short. Don't use short players. Very huge hindrance in the game, right? Um, unless you have to. But with Coutinho's card, right? Because of that, those really good boosts, they give him a cam card, so on and so forth. If we check out his card stats here, I'm pretty sure they gave if you give him a hunter, right? It's a pretty decent card, right? You increase his acceleration quite a bit, shooting stats quite a bit. His composure's already like well, composure needs to be higher in this game because of the finishing being weird. But um, you know, if you give him a hunter card, he will be more usable. That's the only. This is only. This is the only true way you could try out this card, right? When you have any other chemistry style on him, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be worth using. But he is five foot eight, and that is very noticeable, right? Uh, but you could use Philippe Coutinho on the team. Strikers, I feel like this league probably has a very good amount of strikers. Uh, Liga Santander. Okay, so Suarez is pretty typical. Griezmann's pretty typical. Iago Aspas would be cool for fun. Uh, Griezmann as a lone striker wouldn't use him. Not enough physical presence, in my opinion. Um, we got Inaki Williams. Inaki Williams, Gamero. Gamero has pretty good stats, actually. For Well, he's a physical type striker. Uh, ben Yedder is short. Promise has a striker card, so you could... I would actually prefer to use Promise as a striker, although he's not really, like, physical and stuff, uh, only because of his high-low work rates. I don't like high-low work rates too much um, on, this, on, the, uh, in the, uh, on the sides. I prefer to have the high-medium. Um... Oh, yeah, I'd probably use Anaki Williams. I think Anaki Williams actually has a physical presence too. Yeah, he does. Let's see what his stats are. Oh, his dribbling is not going to be that rapid because he's he's pretty tall too, right? Six foot one, sixty sixty one balance. That's going to be noticeable. But he does have eighty six finishing. Well, if you use this card, you definitely got to use a sniper on him. That's a that's a straight fact. But his pace is already very good. Uh, yeah, you could use Anaki Williams. He's high low too, isn't he? He's high high work rates. Interesting. Uh, would I use Anaki Williams myself? I'm not sure. I'd have to probably decide on this one. I'd probably actually use Promis up there. But the thing is that Anaki Williams has... Physical is very important, for, especially for the striker to do the hold-up possession. But having poor balance 
uh, that's something you have to try out in the game. Sometimes the agility over, overthrows the balance a little bit, but it's always noticeable. Like, Ronaldo is a god in this game, but his balance is noticeable, right? Um, but yeah, the rest of the team, you can go is pretty simple stuff, right? You can use, like, Nelson Semedo as a right back. Uh, center back, you can use him. TT's card, he has the League SBC one. The other center back you can use... I wonder if Gabriel Paulista has any informs. Gabriel Paulista does not have any... Well, he has that card, but... Let's see. That. I'm thinking of teams. There's, a, there's like Varane and stuff. I want to use Varane. Nacho actually might have... No, Nacho might be short. Goalkeeper, it would be uh, Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen is pretty... Ter Stegen is pretty sick in FIFA. Apparently I didn't pronounce his name right. Oh, okay. It's with an E. Gotcha. Uh, Champions League de, or Champions League de Stegen. I'm pretty. It's pretty much a Barcelona team, actually. It's just like two or three different cards. I'm thinking of like other players. I wonder if they gave cards to like Longley and stuff. Longley. Uh, uh, Mtt's cards are really nice. I actually like Mtt. 74, 90, 84, right? It's pretty decent. Uh, let me check center backs in this league. I'm kind of curious now. Uh, Liga Santander. There we go. Okay, Sergio Ramos. I don't like his work rates. So go Dean, PKM, TT, Sergio Ramos. Uh, yeah, honestly, it would probably be Fernandez. Oh, Theo. Well, Theo has a uh, poor jumping. Let me see. Let me see if Nacho has good jumping. Yeah, I'd probably use this card actually. This is a this is a nice card. I'd try. I would try this out. He's medium high work rates. He's got a four star weak foot. So. Yeah, this is like around the team I'd make because in this team you do a four-two-three-one. Debelli left side, Promise right side, and Aki Williams striker. Sergio Busquets, Vidal, CDMs, Coutinho, Cam. Uh, this costs two million coins. Two million coins. If I were to make this team, two million coins. If again, if FIFA's gameplay content was good and you grinded this game a lot, two million coins is not a bad thing. It wouldn't be a bad thing because the way that I think about it, right, is that. If I were to grind the game a lot and they gave you good coin rewards from playing the gameplay, playing division rivals, not foot champs, foot champs can suck one. Um, yeah, this would be a really cool team to do for 2 million coins. Would it, be, would it be ideal to make for 2 million coins? That's questionable. That would be questionable for sure. Um, but it's a good team. It's a, fair, it's a very, very fun team. There's a lot of... If I'm going to be talking about full meta... Uh, Nelson Semedo probably is not very good at the jumping and stuff. Oh, he actually does have good jumping. 783 jumping, but doesn't have the strength. Strength's pretty important in that area. Um, Nacho, Nacho is, uh, what I, Nacho's not really full meta, is he? Sergio Busquets, Vidal's pretty decent. Coutinho's too small, but, you know, it could be really good. Promis, I think, would be a sick card to use. Uh, Dembele would be a sick card to use. It's a very attacking formation, because they're both high-low work rates, right? Um, yeah. It'd be it'd be a cool team to try out. This this is a meta team, right? Uh, not a full meta team, but it, it's a meta team, and it, it'd be it'd be a uh, it'd be usable enough. I, the, the Coutinho annoys me a little bit for a cam because he's kind of like too small. But um, it, he's here's the thing: he could be small, but he has like he needs to have like ninety pace. You know what I'm saying? Like he needs to have that ninety pace to compensate for that height. Uh, but you have to give him a hunter to compensate for it. And I again, I don't believe that it upgrades by that much, but. That's conclude the video for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Be sure to drop a thumbs up on the video if you guys did enjoy it. And I will see you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.